Hi, David Yout here. This episode of Explained in 64 Seconds will feature the Commodore 64 version of Loadrunner. Let's begin. The goal of Loadrunner is to retrieve gold chests stolen by the Bungling Empire. Gold is represented by little white squares. You start with five lives, and an extra life is earned for each game level completed. You lose a life when caught by a guard. The fire button can dig holes in brick, but not in solid floors. Holes will automatically fill back in. Guards may fall into holes and climb back out, but if the holes fill in while they're inside, they'll regenerate at the top of the screen. Guards may pick up gold chests, which they'll drop if they fall into a hole. Brick floors can contain hidden trap doors. When all the gold on the level is collected, a ladder will appear at the top of the screen leading to the next level. There were floppy disk, tape, and cartridge versions of this game made for the Commodore 64. I recommend the disk version, as it has 150 levels, two built-in cheats, namely Control u that skips to the next level, and Control f for additional lives, and this cool but slow iris transition effect, which Control z can disable. In all three versions, Run Stop pauses the game, plus and minus will change the game speed. Control a can restart a level at the cost of a life, and Control e will enter a design tool to create custom levels, like this one. This has been Explained in 64 Seconds. Thanks for watching. Thank you.